friends in this video we'll solve the question of frequency distribution so here's the question prepare a spreadsheet to classify 50 fixed integers number varying between 500 and 600 generate at random according to the following class intervals and then class intervals are given and what we are required to do is prepare a suitable chart for the above frequency distribution compute the statistical parameters such as mean and standard deviation both on the basis of discrete data and above frequency distribution find the sum of numbers out of 50 fixed integer number having values more than 560 find out squeeness of above 50 fixed integers number find out kurtosis of above 50 fixed integers number and find out how many values are more than 560 so here are like six points we have to do in this question we'll start doing first uh, with like we have to generate random numbers so the function for this is ran between now top and bottom bottom and top that is we have to find uh, random numbers between 500 and 600 so 500 and 600 bracket closed and now this is the random number we have generated we have to find 50 fixed integers number so we will drag this cursor or till the count okay wait yeah one two three four five this one and we have to create one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now this count c 15 so we have generated 50 random numbers now what we'll do is copy this now we'll paste it using paste specific to so paste paste specials and here only values we have to paste okay so paste now see why we can't use random numbers is every time you click something it will be like changing the numbers okay take care known why we have to fix this number because every time we do something it will change random numbers now fixed numbers will not be changed and now we have to create this whole table using this fixed number now we will create a frequency distribution table which consists of uh, lower limit upper limit bin midpoint class interval frequency fx and fx square so here we have to uh, this how we'll create a fx square while apart is we'll select two right click uh, format cells and then superscript okay here now the lower i'll type the lower limits first quickly 500 520 540 560 580 and here total now what are the upper limit uh, 520 540 560 580 and 600 now we'll calculate the bin so how we calculate bin is equals to upper limit minus 1 this is how calculate this is how we calculate bin and remember the last cell or will not minus one this will be exact the upper limit now for the midpoint what is midpoint the average of this lower limit and uh, upper limit so the function for this is average average open brackets number one uh, lower limit comma upper limit bracket closed 510 and we'll drag this in the table okay i will type class intervals to 502 520 520 to 540 540 to 560 560 to 580 580 to 600 okay now we'll calculate the frequency so for frequency all, always remember we'll first select this table and now we'll type the function that is free frequency frequency okay now data error so always remember we, now we will use everywhere this fixed number ka data error data error comma bin survey that is this okay bracket close and now after we have applied the uh, function remember we have to press 
control shift and enter together okay now for the fx what is is equals to f into x is the midpoint to so fx we'll drag the cursor okay for the fx square equals to f into x and then again into x okay now we have done this now well for auto sum find the sum of this and the sum of frequency okay now we have to calculate standard deviation and uh, all this data according to group data and ungrouped data so for the group data ungrouped data the differences for ungrouped data we use this fixed number ka column and function and for group data we use formulas so li uh, like uh, here we'll have to find mean also okay wait back to find me standard deviation squareness and kurtosis and here it is ungrouped data so for the mean the function is is equals to average because mean is the average value and now we have to select this fixed number cut uh, data array whole table bracket closed here's the mean for the standard deviation the function is S T D E V dot S. Okay. Now for the same, we'll select this table. And for the skewness, the function is S K E W scheme. Okay. Same. We'll select the table. For the kurtosis, the function is k u r t. Open bracket, we will select the number again. Okay, now for the group data, what we have to do, uh, how we calculate mean is fx divided by f. So same will apply this fx divided by f okay and for the sqrt that is standard deviation how we find is fx square here divided by f and that's into minus okay wait minus mean into mean so this is the formula to calculate standard deviation of group data that is fx square divided by f minus mean into mean. Now also we have to calculate, find out how many values are more than 560 and find the sum of numbers out of 50 fixed integers having values more than 560. So sum of ke liye we will use the function is equals to sum if. Now the range is this here and the, from this range we have to calculate uh, the sum of the numbers that is uh, above 560 and the criteria is always remember the criteria will be in apostrophe uh, apostrophes so greater than 560 bracket closed this and for the count we'll use the function count if open brackets we'll select the range the range and the criteria is same greater than 560 and bracket closed okay so this is all we have asked to do in the question always remember and uh, we have to be a little more presentable in this frequency wala question use these tables and colors And also we are asked to prepare a chart. So we'll select this frequency in class interval, insert, 
we'll use pie chart here. Okay, let's use 3D pie chart. And frequency. Distribution chart. Colors accordingly, chart layout. Okay, I'll do the sauna layout. Always remember we have to uh, apply a chart title and there's no excess title here in this pie chart, but we have to apply the legends to this chart and yeah, the question is done now. So this is all we have to do in this frequency distribution question. First, we'll create a random number out of which we'll fix these numbers using paste special. And then uh, we'll create a table of frequency distribution in which we'll have a column of lower limit, upper limit, bin, midpoint, class interval, frequency, fx, fx square. And then ungroup data uh, we'll calculate by using functions and fixed number data array. And for group data, we'll use formulas. And if we are asked to calculate sum of numbers greater than or count of numbers greater than, then we use functions sum if and count if. And at last, we'll make this table. That's all in this question. Thank you. Oh, my God.